Some parents dropped their kids at a daycare and didn't know they were saying goodbye forever. Five children died when a fire ripped through a daycare in Erie, PA, a couple of hours north of Pittsburgh. The fire chief there says the kids ranged in age from eight months to seven years old, and three of them were the children of a volunteer firefighter. The daycare was a, was a home converted into a 24-hour center so that parents could leave their children while they worked the third shift. And now a fire official says the place did not have any working smoke detectors except in the attic. A neighbor nearby says he ran to help but couldn't get to the kids. I tried to go inside. I made it to the open living room and just I couldn't go any further. The fire chief says the daycare's owner was also injured in the fire. David Lee Miller reporting live with more. David Lee. Shepard, that firefighter who lost three children in the blaze was reportedly battling another fire when the tragedy occurred. The lethal inferno was so intense that vinyl siding on the front of the building melted along with the siding on nearby homes. Firefighters were on the scene in only four minutes after being dispatched, but by then the flames were already shooting out of every first floor window. Neighbors watched helplessly as the home burned. Those that tried to help were met with an impenetrable wall of heat. Some of the nine people who did survive climbed out of a second story window to safety. The home's owner got out alive and she tried to drive herself to a local hospital, but apparently overwhelmed by her injuries, she crashed her vehicle. She is now reported to be in stable condition. Shepard. Now, back in January, investigators found some cigarette and cigar butts in the daycare, and that was of some degree of concern, right? That's right, Shepard. The ashes and cigarette butts were found in areas that were used to prepare foods, as well as an area that uh, was used to take care of the kids. The daycare center did correct that problem, according to records. Inspectors on the scene are trying to determine now a cause of the fire. A published report says an electrical problem might be to blame. A possible clue was found under the furniture. There was a, a lot of uh, extension cords underneath the couch. A lot of different items were plugged into it. Uh, so it's leading towards that. Authorities say so far there is nothing to suggest that the cause of this fire might be criminal. In a statement this morning, Erie's county executive said, and I quote, Erie is a tight-knit community, and I know we will rally to support the families of all those involved in what she called, Shepard, a terrible tragedy. Yeah, no question of that. David Lee Miller in the newsroom. Thank you.